the eleven prong by Eureka Sound. No programming, no problems. So today we're looking at the brand new 11 Prom version 1.3. This revision includes a lot of the most asked for updates to the 11 Prom. So some of the new added features are in preset mode, pedal 9 is EF flashback or EF stands for effects. So effects flashback. When enabled you'll automatically be taken right back to effects mode after a rig selection. So if you're in preset mode and you're changing your rigs and you want to get right back to effects mode without having to press any more pedals, you can just hit the 9 button to make sure that's enabled and then choose your rig and you'll flash right back to effects mode without the extra steps of switching. Also in revision 1.3 you have the right expression pedal will control volume just as it normally did and the left expression pedal can toggle between multi effects and wah dependent upon whether the wah is enabled in effects mode which is your pedal 5. Not only that but they have also sped up the switch to MIDI message timing. Now the switching has been sped up. So let's install 1.3, turn on our FCB 1010 and see how it goes. So we already have our cover laid down here and our FCB 1010 turned over and since in the last two videos I already showed you how to take out your EEPROM and switch them over I'm not going to subject you to that again if you want to know how to change the EEPROM just watch my other two videos on the Eureka Sound 11 Prom or watch the videos on the Eureka Sound website which they have a video that shows you just how to change the EEPROM as you should know before you go messing around on the inside be sure you have unplugged the power cable from your outlet to the FCB 1010 then you'll probably want to go ahead and pull it out of the back of the FCB 1010 as well so just real quick here we are inside the FCB 1010 and here's the 1.2 chip and just like the last two times we'll just pop this 1.2 chip out ever so gently and then pop in our 1.3 and just like the other times the slot goes to the right just like that also we're joined today by a very special guest Eureka A Sound come on in Eureka hi that's right my name is Eureka A Sound Sure hope y'all like this new 11 prom version 1.3. Please buy the new 11 prom version 1.3. Otherwise my wife, question mark, is going to be real upset with like me. Like that, Eureka? Yeah, just like that. Slot goes through the right. Good job. All right, thanks for coming, man. See you at the end. Well, I got to go. See y'all later. So now we have our 1.3 installed. We'll screw the back back on and turn it on okay so now we have our 11 prom version 1.3 installed and we'll turn on the FCB 1010 see it flashes 1.3 on the screen and drops us into effects mode just as usual okay so we're in effects mode and you'll notice that effects mode still works pretty much exactly the same if you look on the 11 rack window in Pro Tools if I were to hit reverb now it knows the state hit it again it goes off hit it again it comes on so all this is the same one thing you will notice is that the speed of the switching is faster than it was before so that is a plus
other modes work pretty much the same. We're on preset mode now. Same thing applies as last time. We can scroll through our bank letters and the plus of course denotes that we are on a user bank and we still hit 8. That takes us to the minus sign which shows we're on a factory bank. So we're on factory E. If I hit 4 that takes me to the factory E4 setting. Switch back to user E3 and that takes us to our E3 bank. Favorite presets that works the same if I'm in preset mode and I scroll to say H2 gives me the H2 user rig. Go to favorite presets and say hold down 4. That locks in that rig as one of my favorites and it's placed on number 4. So if I'm on preset mode and I'm switching through here, say I'm on J3 then I'm in effects mode and I turn stuff on and off and I go back to preset mode and I scroll say F2 and I can go back to my favorite presets and just hit 4 and that drops me right back to my save preset that we saved as 4. I'm not going into detail into the effects preset or favorite preset mode in this video since I already have two videos up which do go into great great detail plus the videos on the Eureka Sound website which also go into detail. In this video we're mainly going to look at the new features but that was a quick overview of what we already had. So here we are in effects mode so let's check out one of the new features. Now one of the new features we already saw which was the sped up response time of hitting a pedal. So let's look at another new option. A little preset mode here. Now what you used to do if you were going through and switching presets here, say N3 on the user bank, then you wanted to go into the effects mode where you'd have to hit your down key or up twice, but that takes longer, so just the down. And then you get back into your effects mode, you turn your effects on and off and whatnot. But now with the new effects flashback mode, you can save yourself the step of having to manually hit the down key to get back into the effects section of the FCB 1010. So we're in preset mode. I just showed you we're say we're changing our settings. And we'll go back to effects. Well we don't have to do that now. Now you can engage pedal nine. You'll see that the light comes on. Now that means we have effects flashback mode engaged. So we'll scroll through our settings here. We'll say we want something from bank C and we'll hit just three. And you'll see that that dropped us right back into effects mode as, as soon as we made our rig selection. So let's see that one more time. We'll go back to preset mode. The first thing you'll notice is flashback mode is still engaged, which is a great feature. So we can instantly say choose. We're in C still. If you didn't, if you don't remember, we're still in C. If we hit two, C two. That changes our rig and also drops us right back into effects mode, so we can start turning effects on and off real quick without having to hit the down key to get back into effects mode. So one more time, and we'll see that's still on. If you want it off, you can turn it off, of course, and you can change your rig and you'll stay in preset mode. But we'll turn that back on. And now it's on. So we'll go to, say, J. And as soon as we choose a rig number, the FCB 1010 with the Eureka Sound 11 Prom version 1.3 chip will drop us right back into effects mode. Plus, of course, our rig will change as you can see on screen. So we'll just hit 1. Instantly drop back into effects mode, and our rig instantly changes. So that's two of the new features, which is better response time when hitting a pedal in the effects flashback mode. Now let's look at our other new feature, which is the left expression pedal here. So the right is still controlling the volume. I'll choose here. And you can see that response time is great. Now we're in effects mode here, so if we turn the wall pedal on, then we can use the wall pedal just like we always did. But now if you have the wall off, of course there's no response there. 
Now you can set the left pedal to control multi FX, which is CC number 11. So if the wall is on, you're going to control the wall. If it's off, then you control your multi FX. So let's see the multi FX in action. Okay, so I'm going to change rigs here. And I'm going to engage the effects mode flashback. Turn that on. And I want H. H1. So that'll drop me back into effects mode and change my rig. So once again, here's our wall, and we'll turn it on with pedal 5. You can turn it off. Pedal 5. So let's set up our multi effects. We'll go here to where it says effects pedal. Right now it's set to wah, here's maybe set to none, or maybe one of these other settings depending on what you already have. So we'll choose multiple effects, which will give us the multiple effects configuration. And we'll choose, we'll just say delay for now. We get to choose all these different controls. And mix, that's fine. And these settings are fine with maximum and minimum. So here's our delay. Of course, we can turn delay on by pressing pedal 3 in effects mode here, on and off. So it's on, and we still haven't messed with our left pedal yet. But as soon as I move this pedal, notice the mix knob is now moving when we control this left expression pedal because the wall is off. So if I hit a note, So that's pretty much how the multi effects would work. Of course, we can turn delay back off. We can go back into our multi effects controls by hitting this little button right here. We can set up another pedal. We'll say distortion, which is the white boost. Now we'll leave it on gain. And then we'll set up a uh, mod, which is our chorus. And then we'll go back. We'll turn our wall on, of course. wall, turn our wall off, and then we'll look here at our chorus, you see it's changing right there even though it's not on, we can of course turn it on by pressing pedal 2 there, now it's on, you can control that in real time, just cut off there because of the gate, let me turn that gate down, and if we hit a note here, we can control it in real time. That's also controlling our distortion. But of course we can turn the mod off and then we'll just control the distortion. So you can see that controls our distortion here. At the same time as controlling our mod but of course we have the mod off so we won't be hearing the change we can hit this button and set this up however we want it to be controlled it's also controlling our delay at the same time because that's how we have it set up but the delay is off so you won't be hearing the effect of course so you can play around with this setting you can just set one or set four different effects set that up how you want then you can control your effects in real time with the 11 prom version 1.3 and still control your wall by turning the wall pedal on then it will control the wall turn it off and we can control multi effects as you see turn the wall on control the wall walls off not making controls but we are controlling our delay our distortion and our mod in this case of course you could always go to a different preset and set up your expression pedal in each one. Multiple effects, DC distortion, 
We'll say gain. See that here. So there you go, that's the 11 Prom version 1.3. So be sure to go to www.eurekasound.com to upgrade your old 11 Prom, or if you don't have an 11 Prom, purchase a brand new one. So once again, check out eurekasound.com to purchase the new 11 Prom version 1.3. It's a really, really great update, adds some great new features. You have your effects flashback mode, the new multi effects control using the left expression pedal when the wall is off, and of course your faster response time when pressing a pedal. So check it out, eurekasound.com. The 11 Pro by Eureka Sound. No programming. No problem.